This is a typical exam question that you can expect um, based on Newton's second law of motion. We see a block of a mass of four kilograms called block A is resting on a rough horizontal table. That resting does not mean that it's not going to move or accelerate, it simply means that it's touching the surface of the table. Especially since they said that it's a rough surface, it means that there's going to be friction. It is connected to another block B, uh, which has a mass of eight kilograms by a light inextensible string. That simply means that the string has no effect on this setup. It passes over a light frictionless pulley, which means no friction is going to be caused by the pulley itself. Then there's a force being applied of 96 Newton vertically upward on block B, as is shown in the diagram. They also tell us that the kinetic frictional force acting on block A is going to be 11,76 Newton and that we can ignore the effects of air friction. The first question states Newton's second law of motion in words. Here you have to say that when the resultant force acts on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the force and the acceleration is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass. The important thing here is focusing on the relationship that acceleration has with force as well as with mass. Then for the next question you have to draw a label free body diagram for block B. So if we have a look at block B up here, instead of having a block we'll have a dot. Upwards will be our applied force of 96 Newton. I'm going to call it force subscript A. So that I don't forget that this is the applied force. And then downwards I'm going to have a tension force. Also because this block has mass, there will be a force due to gravity. This force of gravity is going to be equal to the mass times the gravitational force, which is going to be equal to 8 times 9.8. Um, we'll use that in a little while. Then if we move on to the next question, 2.3.1, calculate the magnitude of the normal force acting on block A. So what I like to do is I just like to draw the free body diagram so I know uh, the force is acting on an object even though it wasn't asked, um, there's my dot for A. Upwards I have uh, my normal force and downwards my force of gravity. I will have a force applied or tension force to the right and to the left, a force of friction. As I look at this free body diagram, I notice that since the block is not moving up and down, it means that the overall net force in the vertical direction is going to be equal to zero, which means F net equals zero. And therefore, if I say upwards is positive, Fn minus Fg is equal to zero, and Fn is therefore equal to Fg. If I now take Fg as mass times 9,8, 4 times 9,8 here is going to give me my answer, which is going to be 39,20 Newton. Now this has to be upwards, all forces are vectors, remember that. Then if we look at the next question, 2.3.2, calculate the tension force acting on block A. So we have the tension between the pulley and B and between A and the pulley, which means the tension is the same everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to go and come up with an equation for this block um, over here for block B. So I'm going to start by saying F net equals MA. And here I'm going to take upwards as positive, which means F applied minus tension minus FG is going to be equal to 8A. So FA I know is 96, tension is an unknown, and FG we said here is 8 times 9.8, which is going to give me 78.4 is equal to 8A. I can simplify this and I end up with negative T is equal to... 8a minus 17.6. For block A, F net also equals MA, and now remember in the horizontal there is going to be a net force, therefore Newton's second law applies, F net is now no longer equal to zero. And here I'm going to have, if I say to the right is positive, T minus FK, my frictional force, equals 4a. I know that my frictional force is 11,76 Newton, it was given, so T minus 11,76 is going to be equal to 4A, T therefore equals 4A plus 11,76.
So what I now do is I write these two equations underneath one another. I've already got the t equals 4a plus 11,76 over here. And I'm going to write down negative t equals 8a minus 17,6. t minus t cancels out. It gives me 0. This is going to be equal to 4a plus 8a, 12a. And this is going to give me plus 1176 minus 17,6. Let me just quickly calculate that. 11.76 minus 17.6 gives me negative 5,84. I take this 5,84 to the other side, which makes it a positive. I now divide by 12 to get the A on its own. And A is going to be equal to 0, 0,49 meters per second per second. We were not asked to calculate A, we were asked to calculate T. So I go and I take this answer and I substitute it into one of my formulas or my equations. I'm going to take the second one, T minus 11,76 equals 4A. And instead of A, I substitute 0,49. And I now go and calculate T. It will give me 13,72 Newton as my tension force.